Hey, it's Jules. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a really fun look for you. It is this glossy pink red lip look. And I'm so excited to show you because this is a pretty natural look. It is low on the coverage. It is bright on the eyes. And let's just get into it. We have Glossier Concealer, amazing. I love this stuff because it is, you know, it's light coverage, but it really blends in so nicely to your skin. Um, I don't like to put on a lot of coverage, so I'm just gonna hit those areas where I have some redness and maybe some dark spots. Definitely get under those eyes and around my nose, you know, has a like discoloration. But yeah, I'm just kind of putting that on everywhere. And even the shade, it's a little bit darker than what I am right now. But because it blends so nicely, you don't even really notice. Okay, eyes. I like to use an eye primer. This one is from Too Faced. I've had this forever, guys. So after I prime my eyes, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of contouring. I don't like to go crazy with this. Remove the dog hair from your contour stick and just kind of shape your face away. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this around my chin and rub it in. The reason why I don't like to do this every day is because it takes time. Um, this stick that I'm using is, I believe, well, I forgot what it's called, but I'll go ahead and put it down in the description box. But yeah, it just takes a while to blend, but I like to hit around my jawline and then that soft and squishy part between your uh, cheekbone and your jaw. I like to contour there. It just gives your face a little bit more of a, a chiseled look, but you know, I don't really have like a chiseled facial structure. It just gives me more definition and that's what I like about it. But yeah, decide for you what you like. I feel like that's what makeup's all about, you know, just having fun. It doesn't have to be stressful, but yeah, make sure to blend as well as you can. So as you can see, I even grabbed a brush and decided to blend it in a little bit more so that we don't have any streakiness going on. Okay, cool. Done with that. Next, chapstick. Moisturize those lips. And then I'm going to use a cream blush now. I prefer cream because it just melts in nicely to your skin. I'm currently living in Las Vegas and the climate is super dry. So anything that gives me a little bit of moisture, I love. If I was living in the Bay Area right now, I probably wouldn't be putting this much cream on my face because it would all dissolve by the end of the day. So that's a good thing to know. Um, you can probably get away with using more cream products if you're living in a drier climate. Um, always make sure to moisturize too before you put all this stuff on your face just so you know that it's not going to like melt off because of your face producing more oil. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on my eyes now and this is where the pinkiness of this look comes into play and I like to use my blush because it, you know, it's already on my cheekbones and now that I'm putting it on my eyes, it's like a, a seamless color reference across my face. Nice, so then just blend that in real good. And I'm gonna take this Anastasia palette and then add this um, gorgeous, gorgeous salmon color on top. I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen. So yeah, that one right there, that's gonna go on the lid. And as you can see, I haven't really updated my makeup brushes in a while. That's because I'm not really doing anything crazy. I just want something that like pats the color on the lid and you don't need a lot of beauty tools either per se, even for like a fun colorful look. You just want to make sure that you're blending in things really nicely. So we have a cream base on this eyeshadow and we also have the primer that's going to adhere really nicely. and. Um, yeah, it'll even help you blend out your color if you want to use like your fingertips after the brush. Nice. This song is heavy on the on the horn. Yeah, so like I said, blend it in, and then when it's to the intensity you like, let's move on. 
this is the part where we're gonna put chapstick on our eyes and girl this is how you get that glossy look okay so it's really important when you're putting this on top of your eyeshadow don't rub it do not rub you have to pat it on top if you rub it's just basically going to take off everything you put on so this is how you get the glossy look with your eyeshadow And they definitely make products out there that give you the wet, glossy look now, but yeah, this is kind of like a, a DIY on a budget type of situation. Yeah, and I recommend using like any type of clear chapstick or gloss that you have. I like this one because it's not like super glossy per se, and it's not going to leave your eyelids being sticky all day. And then after I do my eyes, I rub the excess onto my lips and it kind of gives a very mild color transfer. And then we're going to do our brows. And as you can see, this has been kind of a low maintenance look. We've put a lot of stuff on our face, honestly, but um, I always like to just work with what I got. So I'm not trying to reshape my eyebrows in a crazy way. Um, I just want to make those hairs stand up a little bit, um, give a little bit more definition. And I love the bushy brow look. It's pretty effortless and my brows naturally grow in pretty thick. So yeah, I'm not going to try and hide that. I'm just going to go ahead and groom them and make them look nice. And I got this brow tint from Japan. But, you know, it's pretty standard drugstore stuff, so anything you find in your drugstore works just nice. So yeah, here's the look thus far. Continuing on. Normally, you know, I do a sharp eyeliner look, but I like the softness of this look, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use a brown eyeliner pencil. And my trick for this is to Keep it thicker towards the end of your eye and then kind of stop as soon as you um, hit the your iris or like where your iris starts so that um, it looks nice and natural and it just makes your lashes look a lot more thick and that's great for me because i don't like to wear mascara mascara kind of like irritates me to be honest so um, keeping the focus on my eyelids and then, this is a fun part of the look, I'm adding freckles, fake freckles, and the key to this is to like do a few dots and then blend it with your finger, and then go in and add another layer, it makes it look more natural. And these will like kind of naturally fade during the day anyways, um, so don't stress about it, it's just like a cute little thing. Whenever you put like a dot on your face, your eye is drawn to it, so it's just kind of like another way of highlighting even though you're not necessarily putting highlighter on your face cool and i'm just gonna touch up my eyes a little bit add some more intensity because this is a creamy look a little coffee break sip sip cool and then this is another fun thing I got when I was in Japan. It's a lip tint. Um, it is super intense, so yeah, I put that little dot on my lip. I'm just gonna do a little bit more and then rub it in. So I've already put chapstick on like basically twice during this video. Make sure you do that when you use this type of like intense lip tint product because if you just put it straight on, your lips will be like legit bright red and it's not going to come off. So yeah, put chapstick on before this and just rub it in. And yeah, that's basically the look. Yeah, we're gonna do a little bit more posing. Let me know in the comments below if you would wear this look. Tell me what your favorite color is to wear on your eyes and let me know if you wanna see more makeup videos. I generally try not to do too many beauty videos because I don't want to suggest to anyone that there's like a certain way they should be doing their makeup. It should be fun, but you know, if you found this enjoyable, definitely give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe and let me know that you want to see more of this. But yeah, y'all, that's it. Thank you so much. Okay, bye. Love you. Thanks for watching.